So as a little follow-up to the Breeze Audio TPA3116 review, I figured we'd give it a go to change the gain of this thing, since uh, I'm the kind of person who usually doesn't listen at a very loud volume, I don't have much use for the rather high 32 decibel gain that this amplifier ships with. So I consulted the TPA3116 datasheet and figured out how to configure those two gain configuration resistors in order to lower the setting. And in order to decrease the gain from 32 decibels to 20 decibels, uh, you should essentially just remove one of them, the one that's originally 100k, and replace the other one with a 5.6k, uh, which is what I've done uh, rather ugly since I don't have any suitable SMD resistors in stock. So, with that done, uh, let's just hook this thing up and see if it makes a difference. We should be seeing a somewhat lower noise floor and, of course, less gain. Alright, we're connected up to the HP339A and uh, we're feeding the amplifier a 0.1 volt signal. So, if we uh, switch to the input uh, output of the amplifier, we should be seeing a 20 decibel gain. So, that's 10 decibel. And that's 20. Just under 20, so that's working perfectly. And just to make sure everything's working, let's just uh, turn that up there, and yep, we can adjust the input signal, so everything's working, we've got 20 decibel of gain. That's pretty nice. So what that means is that our 0 0.1 volt signal is uh, getting turned into a 1 volt signal in the amplifier. So let's just uh, disconnect the input signal and see if this has changed our noise floor in any way. Uh, because uh, as you might have seen in the review, the uh, noise floor was about minus 67 decibel volts uh, with the original gain setting and uh, the TPI3116 is specified for uh, minus 80. Now they don't really specify any good uh, test conditions for that, so it's a bit difficult to know for certain what the actual performance is going to be, but uh, I'll wager that uh, we are going to see an improvement over 67. And yes indeed, so we are now at uh, minus 60 decibel volts full scale, and we've got minus 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, yeah, minus 75 decibel volts, so that's a quite considerable improvement. Quite considerable indeed. Uh, that's almost a 10 decibel improvement in the noise floor. So that's actually brought this amplifier from a kind of hissy, horrible Chinese thing into what might actually be considered a relatively quiet amplifier. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. I really like this result. So it doesn't affect our actual uh, sound quality then. So at uh, 1 watt of output we had about uh, 0.03% THD plus N in the original configuration of this amplifier. So let's uh, turn to distortion, rather well, let's turn to input level just for uh, 2 volt, 2.83 volts out. And that's close enough. Now let's check the distortion. And we've got a point two six on that channel and point two two on the other. So yeah, that, that's about the same level, really. It's a slight improvement due to the lower noise floor, but really nothing. I think that's going to matter. Oh well, it did improve the noise floor, so I'm happy about that. Oh, well, surprisingly, at the higher power levels, it's actually made more of a difference. Uh, we are now putting out 10 watts into 8 ohms, and uh, in the previous original configuration, we were sitting at 0.14% uh, distortion on this channel, uh, but that's dropped to 0.6. And on the other, where it was previously sitting at 0.094, uh, we're now at 0.042. So this that's actually very surprising because uh, you would expect to see less gain uh, in performance at uh, higher volume. And even as we're approaching peak power output at 24 volts, uh, we're putting out just about just over 15 volts per channel or 30 watts. Uh, we are actually seeing improvements, uh, considerable improvement. We're now sitting at uh, point. Uh, 0.08% distortion on one channel and uh, yeah, about 0.08% on the other. 
And if I have a look at the report I did earlier, uh, we actually had almost 0.2% distortion at this power level before. So it seems the chip in this particular amplifier really doesn't like uh, having a lot of gain. That's actually very surprising. I'm very surprised to see this results. So there you go, you learn something every day. Uh, decreasing the gain on the Breeze Audio TPA 3116 power amplifier is a considerable performance improvement at the cost of it requiring a much higher input signal in order to give you a higher output. But in my case, that's not an issue. So, thank you for watching. I hope you found this a bit interesting. Cheerio!